that space candy. <laughs> Ten minutes to capsule entry, Doctor. Thank you, Tom. Well, Major, everything's fine, except for a slight rise in pulse rate. We can put that down to pre-blast-off excitement. Well, I've been waiting a number of years for a lunar orbit, sir. I guess I am excited. Uh, Commander, if you will. Well, now, let's see what we have here, Major Healy. Ah, 175 pounds. Good. Uh, Dr. Bellows, uh, I wanted to ask you a favor in case this splashdown is delayed. Mm -hmm. Would you mind calling the surf restaurant and having them uh, hold the table for me? Uh, we're having a little party after the flight, and... Uh, I you beg your pardon? We're having a little party after the flight, and they get pretty testy about holding reservations. Uh, Major <laughs> Healy, as command pilot of this flight, I insist you keep your mind on what's ahead. Yes, sir. Of course. Relax, Commander. I'm sure when Major Healy's aloft, he'll tend to business. Yeah. After all, the moon's pretty romantic. There's been a lot of things written about it, poetry, music. Oh, bourgeois. The moon is a dead satellite composed of igneoferrous rock. There is no plant life, no animal life, nothing. <laughs> It's just a field for scientific experiment, and that's all. Wingate's going to be a lot of laughs on the moon. <laughs> yeah. Well, gentlemen, as far as I'm concerned, it's all systems go. The only problem is the flu epidemic. Of course, you've all been inoculated for the Asian flu, the uh, Hong Kong flu. As a matter of fact, every kind of flu that we have a vaccine for. Well, the rest is up to you. Good luck, Commander. Major? Oh, about the surf restaurant, sir. Would you mind calling? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Hey, Jeannie, I'm gonna blast off any second now. I know. Well, uh, Major Nelson, are you coming? Right, I'll be right there, sir. But I just have to give you one last minute goodbye kiss. Yep. <laughs> oh, good luck. Good luck. And say hello to the man in the moon for me. Jeannie, there's no man in the moon. Oh, well, of course there is. Everyone says so. Nelson, Nelson, let's go. Right, I'll be right there, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I hope I am not coming down with something. Tony, I reported your call to Mission Control. It's, they say it's up to me whether we are bored or not. Well, sir, uh, we've come this far. Might as well go all the way. Hey. <laughs> Listen, we're ten minutes away from lunar injection. After that, it'll be too late. Yeah, I'd hate to ask my doctor to make a house call on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Space humor there, man. <laughs> be a fun trip. <laughs> yeah. This is Nelson to Mission Control. Translunar insertion in 60 seconds. After that, we'll be on radio and TV silent. Uh, I want to take this opportunity on behalf of Commander Wingate and Major Healy to thank all the ground crew for making this moment possible. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, dear. This is terrible. My master cannot go to the moon when he has a cold. He must be home where I could nurse him. <laughs> Uh, this is Delson. Over it out. That was a walk, Wendy. Oh, exactly as I expected. You must remember, Nelson, I have been here before. <laughs> All right. Stand by for translator insertion. Give me a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lunar Robert, here we come. Uh, right on the button, Wingate. Oh, now we can relax for the next seven hours. Yes, <laughs> there, Master. Now you can go to the moon next week when you feel better. <laughs> oh! oh, dear. Where am I? I brought back the wrong astronaut. Yeah.